this video we're going to be looking at inflation. Now that basically just means the prices of goods is always increasing. And now how fast or how slow the prices increase is the rate of inflation. And that rate of inflation is actually a percentage. Don't forget that. So remember, the prices always increase, but um, the rate or how fast or slow the prices increase is the rate of inflation. Now I want to show you something on a graph. I have here um, a straight line, this blue one, this line is increasing, and I have another line, this yellow one. Then on the y-axis, I'm going to have my rate of inflation. Please remember, this rate of inflation is a percentage. On the y-axis, I'm going to have time. Okay, now let's discuss this. What does this blue line refer to? What does that mean? Obviously, it means my rate of inflation is high. So, in this case, the prices are increasing. Let's, for example, take the price of bread. It goes from 5 rand to 7 rand in one year. This is just an example. And then the rate of inflation, I'm going to just abbreviate that by ROI. The rate of inflation is also very high. So prices increase fast. That's basically what we're saying. Okay. Now, on the other side by the yellow line, the price of bread is still increasing because remember inflation um, is the price that always increases but it will be at a slower rate of inflation so maybe here the prices will go up from 5 rand to 6 rand in maybe 2 years or more so prices will always be going up but at a slower rate Okay, now just take note of this because they can ask this in questions and tests and exams. Now let's look at a few examples here. Let's look at Jen. Jen buys a bread for 6 Rand 50 in 2010. If the rate of inflation, so now that's a rate of inflation, is 7%, determine the new price of this bread in 2011. Let me make 2011 in red. Okay, whenever they want the new price, there is a formula that you can use. Please write this down, remember it. Um, you can use this from grade 10 up to grade 12. So the new price is the old price times 100 plus the rate of inflation, which is just the percentage, but just the number, divided by 100 again. So there's your formula. You must really remember this. Now let's substitute the old price. That's what we started with. That was 2010, 6 Rand 50. And I multiply that by 100 plus rate of inflation. Note that I'm going to say 7, but not 7% in this case. I'm just going to use the 7, just the number. And I divide that by 100 again. Put this all in my calculator, I get a new price, um, 6 Rand 96 cents. Alright, and then in our last example, the question here is, by what percentage, so now they want to know percentage, did the rate of inflation increase? So we are actually looking for percentage increase and yes there's a formula for that as well let's continue reading if the price of um, petrol was 19 rand 20 in 2018 and 21 rand 30 in 2019 
So how do you work out percentage increase? You take the new number or the price minus the old divided by the old one or the first one that was mentioned and you multiply that by 100. So there is your formula. This works for any type of question with percentage increase, not just inflation. Okay, so the new price, that's that blue one, that's 21 rand 30 cents, minus the old one, that's the yellow one, 19 rand 20 cents, divided by that same old one, 19 rand 20 cents. And whenever they ask you for a percentage, you know you're going to have to multiply your answer by 100, because that gives you a percentage. Okay, put that all in your calculator, you'll find 10,94%, or if you round it off, 11%. Okay, so that's the end of our um, video. Please remember to share, like, subscribe and become part of the Whiteboard SA team.